Okay, this is Jen with Yvonne's World, and I am here with could you introduce yourselves, please? I'm John Younger, play bass. I'm Patrick, I'm the vocalist, guitar player. I'm Bones, and I play drums. For Heaven Below! Alright, and Heaven Below has been together since 2007, correct? Actually, the band really didn't kind of totally come together until like 2009. We call ourselves established in 2010. That's only because the lineup now that you see, and the lineup that has done anything, was kind of developed in 2010. Cool. Well, in 2009, your debut album, though, uh, was number 15 and Amazon Hard Rock Releases and number one on trade uh, Tradebit.com, right? Yeah, yeah, that was a big deal to us. The band hadn't even played outside of L.A. yet, and we... Uh, we put an album out, and I had a band called Union Underground. Oh, These yeah. guys had played with DJ Ashba. Bones has played with Julian Kay, uh, Chester from Lincoln Park. And I'm not saying that's the catalyst, but our album got up to number one. Not because it's a super group, but because people actually care about new music. That is amazing. You started this tour on the 28th of August in Vegas, right? Uh, last month, last month, October 28th in okay. Vegas. Okay, yeah. and it ends in... San Angelo. San Angelo. Yeah. San Angelo. Okay. Yeah, Saturday. What happens after that? I want home. Get some sleep. Yeah, we're going to get ready for uh, the rest of the year. We have a brand new album called Falling From Zero. It's not uh, out yet. It's already done. We're trying to figure out the best way to release it, you know, because nowadays there's not uh, so many labels to put it out. So we're going to try to figure out how to put it out through an indie label or ourselves. So we're kind of doing the business stuff. Awesome. Uh, we've got a good friend of ours, I'm, I'm not going to name names, but uh, he's, he's uh, hopefully getting us a, a good deal, so we're crossing our fingers to get a uh, with, uh, with an indie, uh, indie major uh, you know. Cool. So hopefully that pans through and we can uh, release it to the masses. You guys have been on tour with some pretty heavy hitters as well, right? We've done some shows, some one-off shows with some of our heroes, absolutely. We played yeah. with uh, Hell Yeah, we played with uh, Buck Cherry, yeah. Buck Cherry. Uh, all that. All that remains. Yeah, uh, really good shows. It's awesome. Okay, uh, this is a question about the four-track uh, EP you released. The song is The Mirror Never Lies. Yeah. And I have listened to that song probably and watched the video probably 100 times, awesome. shared it on Facebook. Awesome. Can you talk about that? Just how did you get involved? Well, Bones is involved, turned us on to a killer uh, organization that uh, protects children, protects bullied children, protects children that are abused, and it's called Children Without a Voice USA.org. Bones started, started yeah, up, got us onto it. Yeah, I'm a spokesperson for, uh, for Children Without a Voice USA, and basically, uh, I turned the guys on to the, uh, to the organization and uh, came up with the idea that he was like, I've got the perfect song, I'm going to write this song for, you know, kind of to carry the way. And um, that's how The Mirror Never Lies came about. And then we uh, had the opportunity to do, which is kind of weird for us, we did a, uh, we did a Battle of the Bands in Laughlin, and we actually ended up winning. And we invested the money in the video and to help the cause. Wow. And that's how we ended up doing the video. We worked with uh, these good friends of ours, uh, the uh, Fernando and and um, Vicente. And the video just turned out amazing. We got some good actors in it, and uh, we shot it in like two days. Yeah. Seriously. A bunch of people got on board to help the charity. So A bunch of big bands. Yeah. Bands like bands of people from Corn and Three Days Grace and Papa Roach and Filter. Yeah. All our heroes were involved with Children yeah. Without a Voice. Black, Black, Bell Bride. Black Bell Bride. So we were like Mad Line. Mad Line. Mad Line. Yeah, we were surrounded by great people. So <coughs> it's easier to push a cause when it has a lot of uh, heavy hitters like that. Weight. Yeah, a lot of weight to it. So. Yeah. And right now it's actually pretty cool. I, I, we've been on this tour and I did some uh, anti bullying and child abuse uh, prevention kind of presentations and they played our video and, and um, so heaven below we worked that out you know that's, the that's it's awesome been, it's been a tremendous support from the community and, and every, a lot of people uh, it, it premiered on AOL AOL Noise Creek premiered the video it was yeah. one of the most uh, seen videos for an independent band ever and I know independent is common now but 
some of us come from major label bands before, and it's pretty neat to see the power that right. can happen without a huge briefcase full of money kind of situation. Without yeah. management. Without yeah. Without, without uh, we're absolutely. basically self-managed. Yeah, no, we're unmanageable. We're unmanageable. <laughs> that's the new that's the new uh, era now. We're like we're unmanageable. Yeah. We're an unmanageable band. If you saw us about an hour ago where we were before we came here, you'd go, "Yeah, they're unmanageable." <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a pleasure to meet you. I looked at, at the uh, Children Without a Voice USA org website, and I know that uh, the uh, founder Lynn Seahorn was herself a survivor. Uh, that five kids die every day of child abuse. Oh, yeah. And I want to get involved because... Well, you know, the statistics are, you know, those are true statistics, but realistically, there's actually more that go unreported. And it's, and it's, and it's, uh, it's unfortunate, for example, like right now, what's going on with the whole Penn State and all that. Right, it's right. Like, you know, a lot of things go uncovered, and people, you know, don't want to, they don't want to say anything because they don't want to get, you know, with big popular people and it's just like, you know, in the end, the people that suffer are the kids, and when they grow into being adults, you know, that, it, it becomes, a, it becomes a big problem for them, because not only will they probably become future perpetrators, but if they don't, they end up committing suicide, or, you know, they end up having all these mental problems, and yeah. same thing with bullied kids, you know, like right now, I mean, half, over half the class the kids are bullied. So if you're looking at a class of a thousand, five hundred kids are being the bullied, or there are the bullied, the bully, yeah, and it's, it's a sad situation. It is. The good news is that, that through the, the charity and, and Sea Wave and through Palms and what we've done, we've seen it make a difference. So, and, and that's really cool. I think yeah. awareness is half the problem. Right, right. Yeah. And, and, and Sea Wave is a nonprofit organization, so Lynn herself works 24 7 and she's i mean we're grateful that we're on board to help her but i know that she's like you know you guys are the ones doing it really this and she's she's a brain behind the whole thing and the heart and lynn i mean like i said she, she's she's a survivor i mean i'm i'm an actual survivor as well too and that's the reason why i got involved because working with heaven below working with dead by sunrise at 6 a.m and all these other bands i wanted to make my name and make it a little bit more useful as opposed to going out and just being a you know a, a, a a phony rock star. Yeah, we're yeah. not about doing drugs and getting drunk and acting the fool because yeah. a lot of us come from that background, like he said. Right. And we are the messengers of that, whether it's us or Corn or Three Days Grace or Papa Roach. Uh, we need that support. We didn't have that support when we were kids. Metallica and Motley Crue didn't tell us about that when we were little kids. Yeah, and now you have, like, for example, Nikki Six doing 6 a.m. and all the <coughs> you know releasing books on, dude, that, hey, man, drugs are going to kill you, you know? <laughs> and if right. you're not careful, I mean, shit's going to happen, you know? Well, on the site, www.childrenwithoutavoiceusa.org, uh, it does tell you how you can volunteer your time, right. uh, educate, you can uh, do, do college internships, I understand. Obviously, donate. Yeah, uh, you can donate. There's internships, there's pamphlets that you can download. Um, like I said, if anybody wants to volunteer, they can basically they, they download a form. There's a uh, there's the Ambassador Kids that we have a program that if kids want to get involved as well too and help out. I mean, there's all types of things that people can get involved with, and and, and uh, the majority of thing is you know of, of it is getting you know, donating. You know, Absolutely. And just making aware, you know, making awareness and prevention. That's what it's all about. Making a difference. Um, Yvonne, I posted the video several times today, and Yvonne made a comment. Um, why was this only shared one time? You know, the, the, the country's complacent. You know, and my comment was, we're dope with religion, sex, and TV. You think you're so clever, classless, and free. I mean, that was my answer. And the complacency is ignorance. It's, it's hard, you know, nowadays when, when, when you talk about sexual abuse and child abuse, it tends to shut the door, and it's really weird that, I mean, it, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, putting anybody down, but people will jump on helping a dog, an animal first before an actual child. Or they're more and worried about the Kardashian wedding. Know, people know how yeah. much yeah. that costs. Like, That's yeah. important to people. Exactly. They're more worried about the Jersey Shore or whatever that is. It's and it's like, it's funny that people will jump into that more because there's more drama. And it's just like, come on, you know? It's avoided. It really is avoided behavior. People yeah. don't want to face the music. 
they want to sit there and talk about how much Kim Kardashian's wedding dress costs and, right. and what Jacoby or uh, or what Kobe Bryant did with somebody. That's that's easy to avoid the, the issues that way. And there's no class or economic level in child abuse. It can be in the very wealthy okay. and the very poorest. Um, what uh, is next after you drop the album? Will you be touring? Absolutely. Yeah. We've already talked to some of our, our bigger friends, some of the big rock star bands we mentioned earlier. And for new bands like us, it is still about exposure and getting out there with bands like that. Absolutely. And, and so in 2012, we're hoping that we can be out there on some of the tours with some of our heroes. That'd be and great. And still spread the word of children without <laughs> sure. a voice and turn them onto it. Well, I plan to get in touch with Miss Seahorn and become a volunteer awesome. because I think awesome. I, I can she help. I have a son that is 15 that is going through some bullying at school because he's different. So I definitely want to get involved. And you know what? It's good to be different because it's like I always tell people, you know, when I was growing up, I mean, I was bullied as well, too, and we were different. I mean, we, we probably, everybody has probably experienced some type of bullying. And, um, you know, and, and these are the people that grow up to do, like, for example, in the 70s, you had the hippies, and the 60s, 70s, you right. had the hippies, and now they're all... Now know, Steve Jobs. I mean, and, you know, yeah, he was yeah, different, I mean, so... Yeah, you know, now we have, you know, people that are presidents, I mean, they're, they're, they're higher people, they're very educated, they were different, but that's the reason they were different, is because they wanted to be somebody, they wanted to be individuals, they didn't want right. to be just like everybody else. Yeah, being 14 and being different is yeah. hard, but when you're yeah. 28 and different, then it's a little, you know, it's a little bit different. You exactly. Know? And jocks get bullied too. It's not just the golf kids or the, or the skaters or the gay kids or, or whatever. It's everybody, yeah. you know. Well, it's, it's everybody. So, well, I appreciate it, you guys. And uh, where can we find Heaven Blows Music? Obviously, www.heavenblow.com, iTunes, Amazon, Amazon yeah. uh, everywhere. Can, uh, Twitter, the MySpace, or Facebook. Uh, you know, if people want to check us out and they, they don't want to buy the music, but they want to listen to it, just go to YouTube. Or Spotify yeah. is a great one. That's yeah. a new yeah. streaming service where you can hear the band, check it out. If you like it, buy yeah. it. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Our YouTube it. channel, it's real yeah, easy. It's, it's YouTube.com forward slash Heaven Below Music. I've you been there a lot. The yeah. the mega mega single, check out the song. As a matter of fact, the mega <laughs> single, the proceeds are going towards Sea Wave. Uh, right. you know, we're, we're donating part of the proceeds to Sea Wave. What is the, the next? Mega single, the uh, the mirror never dies. Yeah. You know, so when somebody purchases it, they're actually donating to Sea Wave already. I, I love that. that I love that. It's it's four tracks. It's three different versions of the song, the mirror never lies, and then you have a message. Is that correct? Right. Yes, we made it exclusive for this release, so the new album, Falling from Zero won't have all those other versions. We exclusively made it that way, so the diehard fans get something extra. Guys, yeah. buy it. Awesome. And thank you very much. It's very nice to meeting you. I admire you so much for being, digging in this deep subject that a lot of people don't want to face. So I appreciate it. For Yvonne's world, let's rock this nation into action. Yeah! All right. Thank you. Thank you.